My name is Bruno Sade from brunosade.com. Today's video is about the EFT sandwich, how to emphasize emotion in your tapping setup statement. When coming up with a setup statement to start tapping on the side of the hand, it can be useful to emphasize the emotion that we are focusing on with our tapping, since this is what tends to shift when we do EFT. One way to do this is with the following structure. Even though I feel name the main emotion that you are feeling. When I think about, name the specific event or situation that you are focusing on, because what about the event is making you feel this way? And I feel this emotion, name again the main emotion that you are feeling, in my name the part of your body where you are mostly feeling that emotion. This is just where I'm at right now, or any other kind of balancing statement that you like, such as, I deeply and completely accept myself. So let's look at a couple of examples. Example number one, tapping on the side of the hand, even though I feel sad when I think about the argument I had with my girlfriend yesterday, because the look on her face made me think that she didn't love me anymore, and I feel this sadness as a lump in my throat, this is just where I'm at right now. For the reminder phrase, as you tap through the other points, if you want to keep it really simple, you can just name the emotion, the sadness, or the sadness in my throat, the sadness, the sadness in my throat. And some people find that just naming the emotion makes it a bit hard to remain tuned in. So they might need to alternate between the emotion and why they feel that way. So for example, the sadness, remembering the look on her face, the sadness, remembering the look on her face. Example number two, tapping on the side of the hand, even though I feel angry when I imagine coming home tonight and noticing that my son Jack didn't do the dishes even though I asked him to, I feel angry because he doesn't care if I end up having to do the dishes after coming from work really tired. And I feel this anger in my chest. I deeply and completely accept myself. For the reminder phrase, as you tap through the other points, if you want to keep it really simple, you can just name the emotion as in this anger or this anger in my chest. Though some people find that just naming the emotion makes it a bit hard to remain tuned in. So they might want to alternate between the emotion and why they feel this way. So in this case, that would be something like this anger. It's like he doesn't care if I'm the one who has to do the dishes. This anger. He doesn't care if I'm the one who has to do the dishes after coming from work really tired. Example number three, tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I feel embarrassed when I think about this interaction with Jim yesterday, because that was such a stupid thing for me to say. And I feel this embarrassment in my face. This is just where I'm at right now. Again, for the reminder phrase, if you want to keep it really simple, you can just name the emotion, this embarrassment or this embarrassment in my face. But some people might find that just naming the emotion makes it a bit hard to remain tuned in. So they might want to alternate between the emotion and why they feel that way about the event. So it would be something like this embarrassment was such a stupid thing to say. This embarrassment in my face was such a stupid thing to say, and so on. Notice that with this structure of a setup statement, it's like a sandwich, where the emotion at the beginning, after, even though, is one of the pieces of bread. The content of the sandwich is the specific event and the aspect of that event that's making us feel that way. And then the other piece of the bread is when we name the emotion again and where we feel it in the body. Even though I feel sad thinking about this event because, and I feel this sadness in my heart, I accept this is where I'm at right now. This makes sure that we are emphasizing the emotion, which is what will probably change as we tap on it. Something to keep in mind is that if you don't know where in your body you are feeling the emotion, that's okay. You can just leave that part out. In my own tapping, I tend to include it only when the location or body sensation is easily noticeable. Now, something else to keep in mind is that if you notice that the emotional intensity is overwhelmingly high, then it's best not to use so many words or even no words at all. You might find it more helpful to just do a few rounds of silent tapping instead. And remember, like I usually say, if you suspect that the emotional intensity might become too high to tap by yourself, perhaps because you want to address 
a complex issue or a traumatic memory. I recommend in that case that you seek the help of a certified practitioner, such as myself or anyone else whose style you resonate with. So that's it for today. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.